So I did want to touch on some of the changes that I've been making to my portfolio. So you can see some of the buyer orders that I'm putting here. I've got about 3000 in stocks and bonds <clears throat> that I'm going to be selling. I decided to move out of my bonds because they really weren't obviously because the interest rates are so low bonds were really not going to be paying all that much. And if anything, I could always leave it in cash or, but I find that I think I'd rather have it invested into higher yielding uh, dividend stocks that also have growth opportunity. So I've decided to, to go ahead and sell that portion of my portfolio and I'm probably going to make it either uh, 75, 25 or 80, 20. So it'll be 80, 20 div uh, dividend or 75, 25 dividend with a small portion where I, ha I have some risk allocated. In terms of some of the other positions that I've held, for example, like Kellogg, Kellogg's does pay a dividend, but in accordance with what uh, I had set out for myself here, again, my goal for the end of the year uh, is to have 20,000 invested in dividend stocks. And I've chosen uh, a roughly about 16, uh, so 16 or 15 because I'm moving out of, I'm moving out of uh, the dip, these, uh, these, bo these bond funds. Uh, because they're really not going to return that much for the amount invested. It's really there more for having like a little bit of a cushion because obviously uh, stocks typically go down a little bit more than bonds do. But for the most part, I figured, you know, I do think that for the, that the market is going to be going up and I think I can allocate that extra cash to a little bit of uh, risk. And so for certain positions that I have, I'm going to be taking profits. And I spoke about this in my last video that I'm going to be finished taking my profits in GPS. I bought GPS uh, $7. And so I'm just basically getting out of the last little bit that I have. You can see here, I, I my average price was uh, 716. So I had about six, six, six or so hundred dollars in my risk portion of my portfolio. And I earned roughly $200 on, I think the $400 that I had invested. Uh, for, for, so it was a good, it was a good investment. Um, and so I'm switching out of some other things like MGM. MGM had a huge, uh, move to the upside and $24 looking at the chart, uh, $24 you can see here uh, and a little bit in the back. For the most part, um, I think I'm going to take profits and then back into the stock. So I have an order to go out to sell my my entire allotment of MGM. As I perceive MGM will have a bit of a pullback, especially with the upcoming uh, colder season. We may have a resurgence of coronavirus. So we might see uh, a re-lockdown, so to speak, in certain areas. Um, and of course, anything that's typically indoor, like casinos, cruise lines, uh, I've decided to take uh, profits on. So they're also very similar with RCL. I'm going to be taking a uh, little bit of profit that I have with RCL. I th I'm up just a slightly. Uh, and so I'm going to wait for a small bit of a pullback, as I do perceive, as you can see there. I am up um, 86 bucks in RCL. Like I said, I was up <clears throat> $200 in the gap. And then, of course, I'm up another 142 um, in MGM. So I perceive that there will be a pullback in some of these. And so I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking uh, the profits and I'll have to wait and see. I, I don't think I was going to keep this for a dividend. It does look like a nice dividend play, but again, uh, with cruise lines and with the way that things are going politically, I think we're going to see a bit of a pullback. I mean, the stock went from 45 all the way to 60. I have to wait and see. But that's just kind of the decisions that I'm making, taking some profits, taking about, I took about uh, two, uh, maybe about four or 500 in profits so far over the past week that I've added to the portfolio. And I'm going to be moving some of those um into areas like uh, into tech and of course adding you know adding some to my dividend uh, portfolio which i'll be doing today but that was just a quick update i'll be discussing some other things in terms of the dividend portfolio looking to hit hopefully um i'd probably say by middle of next month 
looking to hit that 25k mark uh, obviously barring the market doesn't uh, go down and I don't lose any as you can see I'm currently up we're up almost 1100 with almost $200 so far in dividends uh, with just 20 20,000 total allocated but my goal is to hit uh, at least at least uh, 18 to 20k this year just in dividends so that I'm hitting that 100 100 a, a month mark so that's basically my goal like I spoke of in my last video I'm trying to shoot for that 7.6.75 by the end of the year in terms of yield we'll have to wait and see what goes on in the market if I can get some cheap stock um, you know paying attention to what's going on in the market but that's basically a, a little quick a quick part of the update that we'll be going into we'll be going into some other stuff very shortly